Howdy, everybody. Welcome to the Only Funny Cooking Show. Tonight, our suggestion comes in the form of a dart throw at this map of the US. Rachel and Byron Talbot, our YouTube stars, are gonna throw three darts, and we're gonna find out from you guys which region of the states Chef Jet's gonna cook from. So guys, come on up. Here's the deal. We start with suggestions from the studio audience, so Chef Jet has no idea what he's gonna have to cook. But he's got a kitchen full of stuff to make it happen, plus he's a total badass, so we're not too worried about it. Meanwhile, our improvisers start going off the same suggestions, and Mike watches their scene to pick out a few at his little challenges that are totally gonna f with Jet. Simple enough, right? Here we go. I understand Rachel used to be a pro uh, dart thrower. So um, Actually, expect, expect great things, guys. Expect great things. All right. <laughs> Byron, don't blow it. Make it delicious. Don't blow your suggestion. OK. <laughs> Wait a minute. All right. I like it. I like it. So we got a bit of Virginia, OK, Virginia, New England, and uh, the, un <laughs> the unspeakable <laughs> Canada. <laughs> New England. New England. Yeah. I, think New I was going to say New England. You actually yeah, yeah, you jumped all over that. Yeah. yeah. He does he do that a lot? He does. Divorce! You heard the Talbot. The suggestion is New England. Everybody gets to work. Come on, Patriots. All right, Patties. Come do on, this. Patties. You're my football team. That's right. I am from the region where you play in. You're my team. Let's see it, Pats. Would you like a chocolate? Yes, please. Thank you. That'd be great. <laughs> I really think maybe we should learn some of the names of the players. Or... I thought about it, but as long as we're acting like we belong here, mm -hmm. no one's gonna notice. Right. Okay. Okay. Oh, that's a yellow piece of cloth oh, out there. Oh, come on. What are you doing? <laughs> Get you dropping yellow, yellow piece of cloth, cloth everywhere. So the guy throws a dart to the board to determine what I'm supposed to be cooking. Thank God he hits New England. So New England, automatically, I get, you gotta go to lobster, right? And, and my, one of my favorite things to make is lobster roll. First thing to do, um, break off the tail, break off claws, get them poaching. Because those, those, it's not an easy thing or fast thing to cook. Did you, see, you guys see that play earlier? Unbelievable. All oh, right. Uh, which Unbelievable. one? I loved them all. When the uh, one guy gave it to the other guy. Every single play, that thing's flying all over the place. That guy's pretending to be a zebra the whole time, dropping his cloth. <laughs> Give me about the Rick Pats. Come on. <laughs> you talking about the referee pretending to be a zebra? <laughs> what are you talking about? Is that his last name? Yeah, I didn't yeah, know his yeah, last yeah, name. Yeah. Right? You know. We're just giving him a hard time, you know, rising <laughs> him. Yeah. Come on, you <laughs> zebra. Hey, hey, guys. Gallop away. You guys don't know anything about football, do you? Do you want a chocolate? Chocolate sounds fun. Write that one down, Michael. Honey, hurry. The Robertsons are, are almost here. OK, I'm trying. Sheesh. Listen, they're never going to let us adopt the, her daughter if we don't show them a good meal. Oh, we're going to show them a good meal. Loretta, stop it. All right, your spoiled eggs are going to your head. My womb is barren. I know You know that, is. right? I know. We've covered I that, know. OK? I and I need a baby. What are you doing? It's we quick. gotta make fresh veggies and stuff. There's fresh, there, there are fresh veggies in here. Who doesn't love deep fried? It's fine, don't worry about it. Deep fried, love it. Let's go with chocolate and deep fried. All right guys, let me interrupt you for a sec. Because that's what we do at improv clubs. You guys ever done that? It goes over really well. Uh, so what I heard in there was uh, chocolate and deep fryer. So why don't we do a little handicap for Chef Jet here, okay? This isn't hard enough, by the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah this yeah. is not hard He's enough. He's working under duress. Someone in the audience, you. I pick you. I want you to tell me whether you want Chef Jet to use chocolate in this meal or to use a deep fryer. Deep fryer. Deep fryer, deep fryer baby. Fryer. All right. Deep fryer it Thanks is. Thanks for picking deep fryer. Okay, that's good. That's good. I don't know what the I would have done with chocolate. Ha, ah, come on. Okay, so what do you got going on so far? All right, guys, so far uh, I've got lobsters poaching. I had to take them apart so they poach faster. All right. Uh, I've got some bacon happening. I'm, you know, I've got a... Everything begins with bacon. You guys know that saying? All right, it's a proverb. It's very old and Polish. Making my little lobster uh, rolls for yeah. the roll there. Oh, okay, I like it. Cut, yeah. cut across the top. You That's like a that? real pro, by the way, you guys. You like that? Yeah. Uh -huh. and, uh, and now i got to figure out what to do with... So I'm going to think... French fries. So um, you're all set. Yeah, man. You're so, good. I'm jamming. You sweating yet? I got the hardest part here, I think, man. Jet's got yeah. uh, one and a quarter percent body fat. That's why he's not sweating. <laughs> it's 180 degrees in here, by the way. But it is starting to smell good. Um, good. I'm good. Go man. with it, guys. What are we talking about here? Can we just get a suggestion of anything at all? Boats. What was it? Boats. 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 Great. Boats. Thank you. 
kind of romantic, right? Yeah, this is nice. <laughs> I like this. I was hoping to have, you know that boat that the guy with the mustache and the berets? The gondola ride. Yeah, yeah, the gondola, yeah, I wanted that. I'm not gonna let some guy with a mustache ruin things again. <laughs> Don't bring up Jim, okay? Hey, good seeing you guys out here. How are you? Hey, Jim. Uh, yeah, hey, Jim, I know it's you. You don't need to curl your mustache in front of me. You, you always eat lobster rolls with french fries or potato chips. I went for fries. And the secret to making amazing fries is always, A, taking the starch out of the potato. You want to soak the potato for a minute, dry it totally, cook it once in low temp oil, let it dry, and then cook it in high temp oil to make them really crispy. Is it a matter of my manners? Let me give you a hug. Okay. Let me no, give don't you a do hug. this. I don't want to Let me in this boat. boat. Let me Whoa! in this boat. Let leave me, me, leave me and in my wife boat. alone. Whoa! Get over there. Uh, lobster roll, lobster meat has to sit in some kind of mayonnaise. So I made an aioli instead. Smash down one or two garlic cloves, a little bit of thyme, a little bit of parsley, a little bit of celery salt. So I got my mayonnaise ready. Just let me hug her. Mm. Well, that was nice. Thank you. <laughs> All right. All right, I guess I should just be a good host. Do you want one of our many finger foods? Finger food sounds like something Jack can have fun with. Oh, this is nice. Get in here, Jim. Hey, yeah, yeah, let's just spoon. What are you doing? Let's just spoon. No, no. Let's just spoon while I'm in here. Are you kidding me? Oh, that's nice. This is terrible. This is not a sp This is the biggest spoon I've ever seen in my life. This is terrible. Finger foods and a big spoon? Go get them, Mike. All, All right, right guys, let me <laughs> stop you there. Okay, so a um, couple things I heard in there. A spoon. And I think we have. Back there. Oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Crap. I mean, come on. How about a spoon, oh, wow. people? This is like ripped out of some bachelor's pad, huh? Oh, Seriously. Yeah. You know how to get laid. <laughs> All right. What else was in there? I heard finger foods. Blood. What do you think? Finger Blood foods. Rachel, I feel so bad that Byron stepped all over your um, <laughs> suggestion earlier. Why don't, you, why don't you tell us what you'd like to see? Uh, Chef Jet used this giant spoon or um, something to do with finger foods. I definitely want to see him utilize that spoon. I mean, utilize. I feel like a big spoon. Sure she right? does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure she does. Yeah, and she even likes to utilize. Uh, thanks, Rach. I don't thanks know. a lot, by the way. I don't know. Don't say utilize. It upstages me, and it's a big <laughs> word. All right, so lobster's just about poached off. I got my first fry going, because you have to fry really great fries twice. Oh, okay. I got my herb, uh, I've got an herb aioli going on here, getting ready for the lobster. So that's going, and I'm gonna toast these off soon and hopefully marry it all together. Good enough. Uh, something I know about the culinary word is there's a term named food porn. So for bread, I actually took the rolls and I actually fried each side in butter to make it nice and crispy. Then you take the lobsters out, I had to chill them down before I pulled the meat out of the claw. You break them down, you gotta take the knuckle meat, you gotta take the tail meat and the claw meat out, cut it into bits and roll it into that aioli. Jet, uh, you wanna just give us a rundown of what's yeah. happening? Let's here? do this, man, I'm about to plate up here. So um, that's, so the rolls have been, uh, have been toasted off in uh, bacon fat yeah. and butter. Okay. All right. Um, so I'm gonna give it to you like a clam shack style. Oh, I see. So you're gonna put a you're, you're gonna, gonna plate, plate it on this right giant now. spoon. So we're gonna start with uh, our roll. That's nifty. Can't do anything without bacon, right? No. A little more bacon. Oh, I like it. All right. I little like little. bacon. I like butter. Just to make you feel a little better. How about a little lettuce? Look at you. Just a little bit. You're trying to class the joint up. There you go. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, so I've got a little bit of celery. You got to do celery for um, for New England. The texture. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Nice and then you got to do celery salt. I've got some thyme, fresh thyme. I poached off the lobster. Yes. And I, and yes. I, uh, and I uh, smashed down some garlic really fine. Nice. And uh, so there's half of your uh, New England adventure right there. Okay, okay. You're gonna put the fries and in I'm there. And I'm gonna I'll finish it because it, it's a basket style, like you would really do it. Wow, you guys, look at that! Ah. Now that's that's a re that's a real food porn right there. And there you have it, you've got lobster roll on a spoon. I'm Michael Weaver from The Only Funny Cooking Show. You're watching Taste It, so please click to subscribe. It's our party and we'll blow this up if we want to. Well, we actually did. Today's Why Would You Eat That menu features fried bull testicles. Watch what happens when we feed it to the office.
Taste America's most expensive beer. Split an apple with your bare hands. Lose weight drinking Pepsi. Tune into the food feeder for all the news that's not fit to print. Watch dinosaur barbecue pitmaster John Stage on Dude Food for his easy to follow shrimp recipe with the New Orleans Swiss. The magic ingredient? Beer. Check out star chef Elon Hall's seven secrets for an unforgettable burger. Oh, you're welcome. Why would you eat natto, also known as rancid stinky soybeans? Well, you wouldn't, but you can watch us hold our noses while we try to keep it down. Subscribe for free for more tasted treats.